Have you ever wondered why some of the most accomplished people in history, like Benjamin Franklin or Leonardo da Vinci, kept such strict daily routines? Here's a thought that might surprise you. These historical giants fought the same enemy we all battle every day. Procrastination. Yes, that urge to delay, the habit of putting off important tasks we all feel, isn't just a modern problem. It's a challenge that has tested the will of history's brightest minds. Today, we're diving into why conquering this common enemy might just be the most powerful secret to success you've never considered. Stay tuned as we uncover practical, life-changing strategies that have not only stood the test of time, but can transform the way you tackle your daily life. Whether you're a student, a professional, or anyone who's ever felt the weight of unfinished tasks. This video is for you. Let's explore together how to turn every minute into a stepping stone towards your personal greatness. And before we jump into these transformative strategies, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more insights, and watch through the whole video without skipping, so you don't miss out on any part of this journey to beating procrastination. Stoic Wisdom Talks present. 1. Ancient Wisdom for Modern Productivity Procrastination isn't simply about being lazy. It's a much deeper issue, rooted in our everyday choices between immediate comfort and achieving long-term objectives. This choice often results in stress, reduced productivity, and a lingering sense of guilt. Think about it. How many times have you chosen to scroll through your phone, knowing well you had more pressing tasks at hand? This habit of putting off important tasks is not new. It's been a human challenge for centuries. Let's take a journey back in time and consider some of the greatest minds in history, like the Stoic philosopher Seneca and the formidable Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius. These figures were under constant pressure, juggling statecraft, philosophy, and personal crises without a moment to spare for procrastination. Their lives demanded efficiency and effectiveness in the face of overwhelming responsibilities. How then did they manage their time? How did they keep procrastination at bay? Imagine being Marcus Aurelius, not only a philosopher, but also an emperor responsible for leading the Roman Empire through times of war and plague. Every moment of his day was precious, yet, like us, he had only 24 hours. Marcus Aurelius and other Stoics like him saw time as a resource to be valued and wisely managed, much like we manage our budgets. They crafted their routines meticulously to maximize productivity and ensure that each action was purposeful and aligned with their broader life goals. In today's discussion, as we delve deeper into how these ancient leaders managed such feats, we'll explore how their strategies can be translated into our modern lives. It's fascinating to think about how these historical approaches can be adapted to help us manage time better and reduce procrastination. Are there lessons from the past that could help us balance our increasingly complex lives today? As we move forward, keep these thoughts in mind. How often do you find yourself succumbing to procrastination? What could you achieve if you mastered the art of time management as these historical figures did? Our exploration isn't just about understanding history, it's about transforming our own lives by learning from the past. So let's continue to uncover these timeless strategies and see how we can apply them to conquer our procrastination once and for all. 2. Marcus Aurelius's Secrets to a Productive Life Marcus Aurelius wasn't merely a Roman emperor. He epitomized the Stoic ideal in one of the highest pressure roles imaginable. He wasn't just overseeing a small domain. He was at the helm of the Roman Empire during times of plague and war, complexities that would overwhelm any modern executive. Yet he authored meditations that remain profoundly influential, guided his people, and led his armies with a level of efficiency that seems superhuman. So, what was his secret to maintaining such productivity 
without succumbing to the paralyzing effects of procrastination. It boils down to a meticulously crafted routine. Aurelius's daily life was not left to chance. Each day was structured to optimize his time and energy, allowing him to address the Empire's needs, contemplate philosophy, and even find time for personal reflection. His routine was his armor against the chaos of external events and the internal turmoil of emotion and distraction. He famously wrote in his meditations about the importance of arising at dawn, ready to face the tasks of a man, his duties as emperor. He saw these responsibilities not as burdens, but as natural and essential parts of his life. What can we take from this? Marcus Aurelius teaches us the power of routine. By integrating disciplined habits into our daily lives, we too can fend off the temptation to procrastinate. It's not about being rigid or militaristic in our schedules, but about crafting a routine that aligns with our responsibilities and aspirations, much like weaving a tapestry with threads of purpose and action. 3. Practical Techniques for Immediate Productivity Boosts Let's dive into some practical techniques to conquer procrastination. These aren't just lofty concepts. These are the actual tools I rely on every day to stay on course. I'm thrilled to share them with you because they really work and I believe they can make a significant difference in your life too. Part 1. Mental Preparation Change your perspective. First, Let's shift how we view procrastination. It's often seen as a minor setback, but imagine it as a luxury we simply cannot afford. What if the tasks you're putting off had immediate serious consequences? This mental shift can ignite a sense of urgency that propels you to action. By rethinking the stakes, we find the motivation to jump into our tasks without delay. Set real deadlines. Next up, the power of real deadlines. It's easy to dismiss a deadline as flexible, but what if you added a real consequence? Share your deadline with someone you trust, a friend or a family member, and add a stake, like owing them a meal if you fail. This layer of accountability transforms your approach to deadlines, boosting your commitment to meet them. Part 2. Action Steps. Start simple. Starting is often the hardest part. Don't let the size of the task daunt you. Just take the first step. It's amazing how once you start, the momentum builds, and suddenly, what seemed overwhelming becomes manageable. Remember, every great journey begins with one small step. The five-second rule, stuck at the starting line. Employ the five-second rule. Count down from five, and when you hit zero, just start. This simple trick can bypass heaps of hesitation and jumpstart your productivity. It's about outsmarting your brain's procrastination tendencies before they hold you back. Use the Pomodoro technique. Now, for maintaining focus, try the Pomodoro technique. Work intensely for 25 minutes, then break for five. This method chops your workload into small segments, making even the most daunting tasks approachable and keeps your mind fresh and focused. Eliminate distractions. Lastly, craft your environment to foster success. Remove anything that diverts your focus. Turn off your phone, close unnecessary computer tabs, maybe even clean up your workspace. By creating a distraction-free zone, you prime yourself for productivity. By integrating these strategies into your routine, you can transform the way you work. These aren't just tips. They are tested methods that can elevate your efficiency and help you make procrastination a thing of the past. Let's put these into practice and watch how our productivity transforms. 4. The Power of Breaking Down Big Challenges when you look at a huge task, it's easy to feel overwhelmed, like you're standing at the bottom of a mountain looking straight up at the peak. It seems nearly impossible, right? Well, 
One of the best ways to handle this is by breaking the task into smaller, more manageable parts. It's like turning that mountain into a series of small hills. For example, if you're dreading a five-hour work session, don't think of it as a marathon. Instead, slice it up into one-hour segments. Each hour becomes its own mini-goal, which feels much more achievable. And here's a trick I find incredibly useful. If an hour still seems too much, break it down even further into just five-minute blocks. Yes, just five minutes. Everyone can focus for five minutes. And once you start, you'll often find that you can keep going longer than you thought. This method not only makes the task less intimidating, but also boosts your confidence as you rack up these small wins. Each little segment you complete builds momentum, and before you know it, what seemed like an insurmountable task is behind you. This approach isn't just about making things easier, it's about changing how you see the challenges in front of you. By shifting your perspective from a single massive obstacle to a series of small, achievable steps, you transform the task from a stressor into a series of manageable actions. And this isn't just about tricking your brain. It's about working with it, understanding its limits, and using those to your advantage. So next time you're faced with a big, scary task, remember, divide and conquer. It's about taking control and proving to yourself, one step at a time, that you can do it. 5. Simple steps to kickstart your success. When it comes to enhancing productivity, the hardest part is often just getting started. It's easy to feel bogged down by the weight of everything you need to accomplish. However, the key is to take that first step. Push yourself to start without overthinking the entire process. Once you begin, momentum builds and it becomes easier to move from one task to the next. Think of the initial action as opening a door. Once it's open, you just need to walk through. To help with taking that first step, there's a simple yet powerful tool I recommend, the five second rule. This rule is all about overcoming hesitation. The moment you feel yourself stalling, count down from five to zero, and at zero, just spring into action. This counting down doesn't just give you a moment to get ready. It also creates a sense of urgency and a psychological prompt that pushes you to move forward. It's a way to trick your brain into starting before your doubts have time to take hold. Another fantastic method to boost productivity is the Pomodoro Technique. This technique isn't just about breaking your work into smaller time blocks. It's about establishing a rhythm that balances intense focus with short breaks. Here's how it works. You dedicate 25 minutes to nothing but your task. Then, you take a five-minute break to recharge, a little breather to clear your mind. After completing four of these cycles, you take a longer break of 20 minutes. This structure helps you maintain a sharp focus and keeps fatigue at bay, ensuring that you're not burning out after a few hours of work. What's great about these techniques is that they're not just theoretical, they're practical, easy to implement, and they make a real difference. By embracing the first step, using the five-second rule to kickstart your actions, and organizing your time with the Pomodoro technique, you're setting yourself up for a productive day where you can really make progress on your goals. Each method builds on the idea that small steps lead to big achievements, transforming overwhelming tasks into manageable pieces and creating a productive workflow that feels less like a chore and more like a series of victories. 6. Strengthening focus and eliminating distractions. The environment you create around yourself can significantly impact your ability to focus and remain productive. It's vital to curate a workspace that minimizes distractions and maximizes your potential for concentration. Start by taking a good look at your work area. What do you see around you that could pull your attention away from the task at hand? It could be your phone buzzing with notifications, 
a tablet with streaming videos just a tap away, or even a pile of unrelated paperwork that clutters your space. The first step to improving your focus is to remove these temptations. Consider your workspace a sacred area for work only. This means making some tough decisions. Keep your phone out of reach unless absolutely necessary for the work you're doing and turn off any gadgets that aren't essential to the task. This isn't just about physical distractions either. Digital distractions can be even more pervasive. Social media, news feeds and other websites can quickly derail your productivity. If you find yourself habitually clicking over to these sites, don't hesitate to use technology to your advantage. There are numerous apps available that can help block distracting websites during your work hours. Tools like these can be customized to fit your specific needs, allowing you to focus on the work that matters without the constant pull of online distractions. By creating a clean, dedicated workspace and using tools to keep distractions at bay, you're building a foundation for enhanced focus. This environment signals to your brain that it's time to work, not to scroll through your phone or get lost in web surfing. Remember, strengthening your focus is not just about removing distractions, it's also about creating a space that promotes productivity. This space becomes a physical manifestation of your commitment to your goals, reinforcing your resolve every time you sit down to work. 7. Review and Reinforcement When we talk about transforming procrastination into productivity, the real magic word here is consistency. It's not enough to try these techniques once or twice. True change comes from making these strategies a staple in your daily routine. Think of it as forging a new path in a dense forest. The more frequently you travel this path, the clearer and easier it becomes to navigate. Similarly, as you consistently apply the productivity techniques we've discussed, they start to form a natural part of your workflow, gradually making procrastination a thing of the past. To ensure we're on the same page, let's quickly review the key techniques that can revolutionize the way you work. Change your perspective. Understand that procrastination is a luxury that hinders your success. Viewing it through this lens can shift your mindset and spur you to action. Set real deadlines. Creating deadlines with real consequences helps build accountability. Whether it's a commitment to a friend or a small penalty for missing a deadline, these stakes can motivate you to follow through. Start with simple steps. Overwhelmed by a task, break it down. Begin with small manageable steps to overcome initial inertia and build momentum. Use the five second rule. Combat hesitation by counting down from five and launching into action. This can dramatically reduce procrastination and jumpstart your productivity. Break work into manageable intervals. Adopt the Pomodoro technique by working in focused 25-minute bursts, followed by short breaks. This method helps maintain high levels of concentration without leading to burnout. Create a distraction-free environment. Tailor your workspace to eliminate distractions. A clean, organized and quiet environment can significantly enhance your ability to focus. By reinforcing these practices every day, you transform them from occasional tools to regular habits. And it's these habits that will elevate your efficiency and enable you to achieve more than you might have thought possible. Remember, the goal is to make procrastination less tempting and more manageable, turning productivity into your default mode. So, take these tools, use them daily, and watch as your ability to manage your time and tasks improves dramatically, leading you to a more productive and fulfilling life. I hope these techniques help you as much as they've helped me. Remember, overcoming procrastination isn't about one big solution. It's about consistently applying small methods to make a big difference. What do you think? Do you have any tricks that help you stay focused? 
Drop your thoughts and tips in the comments below. I'd love to hear what works for you. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to get more content like this. Before you go, check out the videos on your screen for more insights into living a productive life. Until next time, keep pushing forward and take control of your day.